Hello and welcome to a My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I will be showing you how to fix a syntax error in WordPress. A syntax error message might be generated after an update such as a plugin, a WordPress theme, or an edit to one of your WordPress files. All it takes is a simple coding error and you can generate this error message. To show you how this error works, I'm going to generate this error. As you can see, our WordPress website looks great, it's working great, and everything is fine. So let's create this error. Again, many times if you are updating or uploading a plugin or a theme, you could get a conflict to cause that error. Many times though, you might find that if you're updating a WordPress file, all it takes is missing a comma for the error to be generated. So let's do that now. As a side note, if you will be making changes to your WordPress files, it would be beneficial to make a backup. Okay, so I'm simply going to Appearance and then to Editor. I'm simply going to go and choose a file. I'm going to pick the Functions file. And as I'm here on the functions.php file, you can see there are many lines of code. You have semicolons, you have parentheses, you have dashes, and many items here. To show you how simple it is to get this error, I'm simply going to delete this comma. I'm going to update the file and now the website will break. Not that you want to have a WordPress error, but compared to other WordPress error types, this one is beneficial because it lets you know where the file is that's affected. This helps you as if you are making changes to your WordPress files, you know where to go find it. If I simply try to refresh to go back to the main domain name, I cannot log in. So we must find an alternative way to edit the files. For this demonstration, I will be using FileZilla. FileZilla is a free FTP solution that you can download to your computer and transfer information between your computer and your website server. Since we cannot log into our WordPress platform, we need to be able to get in there via FTP. Simply log in to your website, and since our error let us know where the file is located at, we are just going to follow the command. Once you are where your file is, you have multiple options. You can drag it over and edit it directly on your computer. You can right click on it and download it, or you can right click on it and view and edit. Now I have Notepad connected to my FileZilla. You may need to connect a text editor to your FileZilla. So I'm simply going to right click, click view and edit, and my Notepad initializes. So this text editor will allow us to fix our error. As we go down, I see where the error was, I can simply paste it. So again, if you know where the error is that you are working on your website, you can simply go back and fix it. I'm going to file, click save, close out, and then refresh the website. As you can see, that fixed the website. Again, if you work on your WordPress platform, there might be times that you work on files. You may add too much code, not enough code, or enter a command that conflicts with your WordPress platform. Now, if you do not have access to FTP, but you do have access to your cPanel, let's try this again using your cPanel. I'm simply going to regenerate this error. I'm going to Appearance, and then to Editor. I'm going to find the Functions file. And now I'm going to simply delete something else. Last time I deleted a comma, this time I will delete a semicolon. And I'm going to update the file. Once again, the website has crashed. You can see the syntax error here, letting you know where the file is and which line. So this time, we are going to log in through our cPanel. Once you have logged in to your cPanel dashboard, look for a file named File Manager. Once you're here, simply follow the path that the error message gave you. Once you have found the file, simply go to Code Editor. Now that you are here, you have options between choosing between the lines of code or using Text Editor like Notepad. Again, since we were making the editing changes, just like you might be adding changes to your WordPress files, we know exactly where to go, what to delete, and how to proceed. I'm simply adding the coding back in, clicking Save Changes. I will go back to the website and refresh. And once again, the website has been fixed. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.